FT breaking news. We're here for it. And Cody Bellinger ain't going anywhere. He is a Chicago Cub again. And this makes a ton of sense. I mean, AJ, obviously for your favorite team, they really <laughs> were able to allow him to flourish again. It wasn't the MVP numbers for the length of the season that we saw from him like three plus years ago at this point. But man, he was really going through it for a couple seasons and then looked more like himself and made some of those unique adjustments, especially with two strikes. Yeah, this is the perfect fit. We've been saying this for a long time. He fits there better than any other place. And this is a great signing for them. He made adjustments. He was comfortable there. Every Cubs player that we've talked to or person that works there says how well he fit in in the clubhouse, how much he meant to that organization. He can play first. He can play center field. He can win you a gold glove at either one. And his adjustments he made with two strikes, the adjustments he made in a swing period led him to a great year. Congratulations to the Cubs. They got a player that they needed back guy that can hit in the middle of their lineup, and he's a left-handed power for him. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, we talk about switching from one club to the next. Sometimes that works out. Sometimes it doesn't. This worked out. The Cubs needed to get him back, and this is a solid find for them. It's go time now for the Cubs. Yeah, dude had a huge year, and he's a great athlete. I mean, he can run the bases. Obviously, he can play wherever you want in the outfield. He can play first base, so he gives you that versatility depending on you know what the Cubs have done. Uh, previously here in the offseason. I know some fans are like, oh, Michael Bush. Like, okay, I get it. But like Bellinger can play in the outfield for you. And, and just the bat alone. I felt like what would this season have looked like for the Cubs if they didn't pick up a bat like that for 2024? They weren't a playoff team this past season. So, you know, you, you add someone like Imanaga to the rotation, that's cool. But this one to me had to happen. I mean, you could make the case he was their best player Yeah, this I past agree. season. I agree. Bring your best player back, yeah, and then you could kind of build around that. Mm -hmm. Made a couple signings, got a new pitcher in as well, and now they're going to be good. Do I think they're going to be top dogs? Mm -hmm. I don't know, but good pickup by the Cubs. Keep that. Keep you know you can't say homegrown, but you can say the guy that's been there for a year who's done well. Let him be comfortable. Let him just keep taking off. And also, I mean, the biggest attention was on the Cubs for the Craig Council move, and I think some people expected them to you know go pretty crazy this off season. And mm -hmm. it's been, it's been kind of a, like a light swim right now, like yeah. kind of a light jog. That's true. I mean, listen, you got me hungry again. Yeah. I don't it. think they're as good. I don't think their upside is, is where say Cincinnati's upside is, you Agreed. know, I mean, Agreed. the Reds have so much young talent and Depends I actually, on Imanaga. Mean, Depends on yeah. how, how, if, how, if Imanaga is a one or a two and you pair him with steel, you know, it's pretty good there for me. Check it off. Another big name off the board. Yeah, exactly. I mean, one of the big, big bats that we've been talking about for a long time. Going back to the Chicago Cubs. We'll break it down, obviously, on the regular show. So congrats to Cody Bellinger and the Chicago Cubs and Cubs fans for bringing back Belly.